Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to be going over how you can make coins every single Thursday, every single rewards day, and basically just make coins every single week. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We are on the road to 1.3k subs. If you enjoy the content and you're new, feel free to sub. Comment down below who you guys are investing in, who you've been trading with. Um, and yeah, I've been streaming live over on Twitch. I'm going to stream during rewards and I'm going to be doing my icon pick. So definitely, definitely make sure to follow me. The link for that will be in the description down below. I'm praying that I get someone good. But let's get right into the video. I kind of wanted to look at the transfer list or look at the transfer market to tell you guys what I'm looking for every Thursday and leading up to Thursday, right? So in my opinion, I always look at this card. I, I always, always, always look at Varan because this is, I would say, probably one of the most in-demand cards in this game. And he is arguably the best center back in uh, the game that's gold, right? And currently, he's like 60k. This card, um, I was I was streaming like Monday or Saturday or Sunday. I don't really remember, but I told you guys to get in at this card at 50k or 55k. Uh, I did buy a couple, and he's now 60, and rewards haven't even hit. So I think this card is definitely going to do well after rewards. I think during rewards, it's going to take a little bit of a dip. But then straight after it's going to go up because the thing is with all these packs coming onto the market for these for these meta golds, right? They do get supplied a lot and their price doesn't really drop, but there will be snipes, right? If this guy is 60k during rewards, you could 100% snipe at like 56 because people pack him list him up they want to sell him instantly they want him gone they see 60k they just undercut him and then people keep undercutting um but normally they don't get below a certain price and if you can get in at that low price you are making a lot a lot a lot of money and honestly if if you want to invest in these guys sunday or monday that is in my opinion the best days for it if we go look at footpin and we go click on varan right Sunday and Monday are the best days because they're the sell-off. So we go to hourly, we go to Tuesday, right? He was like 56K at the beginning of Tuesday. And Monday, if we go look, um, we can't really go back that far. But he did get down um, on Monday. He did get down to 55, 56K. And that's when you guys should pick this card up. If you want to hold him, he'll probably go up to like 62 maybe to 65k after awards depending on um how many people want him and that's just varan right you could do this with all meta gold cards uh i do know a lot of them are up because they are fodder and fodder is just through the roof and i did want to talk about that today but i also want to talk about promo cards okay there are very 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 good deals on the market i've been saying this all week i've been training with this guy all week this Yuri Berchiche or Berchiche guy, I don't even know how to say it. Um, he's like 100k during rewards. He like that's way too cheap. In my 100k is just way too cheap. I, I really do think after rewards, these cards are gonna skyrocket um, because then they're only in packs for one more day, and then Friday they get out of packs and we get a team two. But if this is still 100k during rewards, I guarantee you. He will go down to like 95k and you will be able to get some snipes around 92 to 95k but then literally straight after awards this guy's going up until marquee matchups um so you guys do need to take into consideration these promo cards i know a lot of them are undervalued especially this Pereira guy he lit these cards fluctuate so much okay so he's like 95k 93k i picked him up at 86k today and I really think he could get down to like 83, 82K during rewards. So I'm going to look at that. I'm going to be streaming. If you guys want to come in, make sure like just to ask me questions and whatnot. See who I get in my pick. Go ahead and do that. But if you guys have coins during rewards, definitely snipe these what if cards. Okay. Because they're literally free coins. They're going to go out of packs on Friday. And then they're just going to go up from there. And remember, they get a plus two upgrade. 
So this will be an 89 rated left mid or left wing with insane stats, four star, four star. And there's no way he's going to be below 100k in my opinion. And if we go to this left back, right? The left back, there's no way this card's still 100k uh, when he's out of packs. If he is, that's crazy. So that's some free investments right there. Um, another one that I wanted to talk about was Smalling because he actually lost his game today. Or he didn't lose. They won, but he didn't keep a clean sheet. So he did tank in price. And if we see this card dip around like 530, I would say look into that because we, we can search up when they play next, right? Let's see. When does, when does Roma play next? If we go search up, they play... They literally play Sunday, okay? And this card is going to go up out of packs and then continue to go up until his game. And if they get a clean sheet, he's going to like 700, 800K. So you guys need to be looking at all of these cards, not just this, but also special cards, team of the weeks. I know one team of the week in particular that I'm looking at is this old black card because to me, this is honestly a little bit cheap. And if he gets into the 150s, I would say just buy him. If, if you see this card at 150 today, buy him no matter what, okay? Because his gold card is like 130, but in a 92 in form. And you could just get his gold card for 130. So if you see this at like 150 to 160, try to get him on the lower side of that. Um, but if you can get that, I would say that's guaranteed money. And then you can literally just sell them in a couple hours but if you guys do want the most if you want like the maximum profit you could either hold until friday but i know that's risky because we have a promo um but what i like to do is i normally always get out before marquee matchups on thursday because that kind of puts more pack supply in the market kind of the market takes a little bit of a dip so what i like to do is i like to sell before then and then during marquee matchups, I'll just go reinvest my coins somewhere else. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you're new to the Twitch stream, the link for that will be in the description down below. So make sure to follow over there. Twitter and Discord will also be in the description if you guys want it. Um, and yeah, hope this video did help you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.